So this is a bills and income tracker I created where you can actually keep track of your bills here, the due dates and the status on those bills and it will give you a summary of paid, what has not been paid, what's pending, how much is due by a certain date. And I actually added a whole nother section to my previous version where you can actually enter your payments or rather um, income sources. And with those income sources, it will calculate by a certain date the total income you can expect to receive as well as the bills from the first sheet and the expenses you can expect to pay and it'll tell you how much you can expect to have left so it's like a, a balance forecast based on today's balance and based on what you expect to pay and to spend alright it's gonna tell you what you have left at the end so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works there's a link available to get the system in the description of this video but watch the video to actually see my demonstration on how the system works okay so the way this works is that you enter any bills or expenses that you have in the near future for instance rent okay you put rent here and let's say you know that the amount for that rent is one thousand dollars and let's say the due date is February 1st which is the beginning of next month and let's say that you have not paid this bill so under paid you select no it is not past due all right, because it's due February 1st and today is the 22nd. Then you enter another bill. So let's say you have a phone bill and you have $100 for that phone bill and let's say it's due on the 25th. And for now I'll say no I haven't paid that bill either. Since you haven't paid either of these bills as yet that's $1100 total a pair that is not paid as yet that is listed down here right so it's just given a total of what has been paid or not has or has not been paid okay so I'll go ahead and I'll add another one let's say credit card one let's say this is eighty dollars and let's say it's due today so you add that bill as well but you know that it's due today now let's say you did actually initiate a payment on this bill but it's just not reflected yet in your account but you want to make sure you know that you paid it well then you could select pending as another option so if the payment is complete and it instantly shows in your account balance then you can go ahead and put yes meaning the payment is complete and it'll say paid eighty dollars but let's say it, you initiated the payment but it's in the process and it hasn't shown up yet then you could put it as pending and it will tell you here eighty dollars pending pending okay so this is an additional option i just added now I'm going to leave this as pending for now um, and what I'll do is I'll add another one because I want to have a variety of things here 60 and let's say this one is due on the 28th and um, in fact actually no I'm gonna make it the 20th and say that it was already paid so this one is actually a past bill right this is two days ago and I'm going to say that I already paid it alright so it will tell me that I've already paid sixty dollars okay, it's just add in everything here that has been paid this is just add in whatever has not been paid and this is add in together whatever is pending okay now what this does is it tells you the amount that you need to pay or what is not paid by a certain date so what you do here is you can put an actual date in here. So if you were to put, for instance, January um, 25th, you see that by the 25th you have $100 due. All right. If you put the 31st, it's still $100. But um, because we only have this one bill that is due by that time. But if I change it to February 1st, you'll see that it's now $1,100 due because now we have this one from the 25th and this one for the first alright so now this is the amount I need to pay by that date okay so that's one thing now the other part of this um, app is the payments and balance forecast so the idea here is that okay I have some bills I have some expenses I know when they're due I'm keeping track here which of which I have paid or not already paid or are in the process but now I want to see what 
is actually coming in as income all right so I have a job and I want to see when and how much is coming in so one thousand dollars and let's say expect to receive it on the 25th I'll say the 25th and then let's say I have some other income on the side I'll just put other and let's say it's five hundred dollars and let's say expect to receive that on the 28th okay so I could continue and I could keep filling this out but I'll just work with these two right now the next step is for me to actually enter my current balance and then an actual date all right um, so really you can enter the current balance today's balance whatever that is and let's say today you have two hundred dollars in this particular account now I would say use the same account where you're receiving the deposits and where you're paying the bills or this could be a general idea of how much cash you have all together but in multiple accounts put together right so it could be based on one account or you could base this balance on multiple accounts put together but however you do it the total is 200 in this case all right right now it's going to tell you zero expected income zero for everything and the reason is that you haven't put an end in date so the next step is to say well how far in the future do I want to forecast or add together and I'm gonna go ahead and put February 1st as I did on the first page and you'll see that what it does is it tells me that the total expected income is actually fifteen hundred dollars right because I'm expecting to receive one thousand on the 25th and another five hundred on the 28th so it's going to add those together for fifteen hundred all right I have eighty dollars pending and I have eleven hundred that I haven't paid at all and that's from over here and again it's it's still looking at the date and it's saying by February 1st these are things that I need to pay or that I'm in the process of paying so what it does is it takes this current balance it adds the income subtracts these bills these expenses and it's telling you that this is what you can expect to have left so this is a forecasting feature because it's telling you that you can expect to have five hundred twenty dollars by this date if you make this income and if you pay these bills right and I want you to really understand the concept that this system really does pay attention to the dates because if I for instance let's say I know that I'm going to make some more money in March okay which is way in the future and let's say I expect to get one thousand dollars on March 1st okay and I'll put uh, say uh, I have a business right and I expect to make another thousand on March 1st well you can see that this 1000 is not being considered here it's not being added in to the total income expected and the reason is that this date is after the ending date okay so I'm only including this is only including from here this date today's date up until the date that I indicate All right it will not calculate in March 1st but if I change this to March 1st all right now you will see that it includes the income all the way up to March 1st all right so that's something that normally you would have to kind of do manually that is being done very quickly with the system very fast where all you have to do is put a date and it's only including those dates without you have to think about it right so that is basically how this works okay so you keep track of your bills here and expenses what you've done with them and you keep track of payments here and then you get a nice summary based on your current balance and a, a forecast of where you can expect to be so this is for really for short term um, well I would say for near future rather near future payments near future expenses and to see where your balance should end up by a near future date now so if you would like a copy of this you can actually find the link in the description of this video this is a work in progress this is a free Excel app I'm gonna send it to you you can use it but if you have any suggestions for it, uh, any kind of comments or anything like that you can leave them below the video but you can also respond to the email because when you subscribe to get a copy you'll be emailed the copy and you can respond to that email and let me know if you have any ideas or any suggestions or just questions about this particular Excel app that I created for bill and income tracking and I'm Mr. Mark. Um, thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to either hearing from you or seeing you in another video.